Alright guys, today we are jumping into yet again another new killer that I have yet to play. And today we're going to focus on the clown. Uh, they say he is a moderate difficulty killer. So let's just jump right in and check out what his perks and abilities are about. Uh, first perk, Bamboozle. You vault 15% faster. That, I mean, that alone is enough to get me interested. Uh, performing a vault action calls upon the entity to, to block that location that I just vaulted for 16 seconds. Could, so this could potentially effectively uh, damper any survivor's ability to try to loop you through the same window or vault location. Uh, you can only block one location at a time that way, and it's uh, only blocked for survivors. It doesn't affect pallets just windows um so either way it still sounds pretty cool uh obviously quite useful the next one is coulrophobia um survivors within my terror radius have a 50 percent penalty to healing progression speed and healing skill checks move 50 percent faster i'm assuming that that is in fact the technical name for the fear of clowns i'm not sure uh but moving on to the final perk Pop goes the weasel. After I hook a survivor, the next generation I damage instantly, instantly loses 20% of its current progress. Then it goes back to the normal regression speed after that damage occurs. That's active for 45 seconds after a survivor is hooked. Um, he is on the fast archetype 4.6 and the large terror radius. So his power, the afterpiece tonic. He's got two different kind of bottles that he throws. You tap the active ability button to swap between them, the afterpiece tonic and the afterpiece antidote, and then you tap or hold and release the power button to launch a bottle. Uh, if you press and hold the active ability button, it will replenish your bottles when you run out. Uh, the long and short is that the tonic releases a purple glass purple gas that intoxicates survivors they will suffer from impaired vision reduced speed and involuntary coughing for two seconds so if i'm launching these across the map i can not only slow people down but also pinpoint them from their coughing and then the second one is um kind of a double-edged sword but mostly a perk for himself the antidote the bottle breaks releases a gray gas cloud that turns yellow upon activation and anybody who into enters that cloud will get a 10 percent movement speed for five seconds and if uh intoxicated survivors enter the antidote their um uh tonic the purple gas effects they will be cured so an interesting kind of setup he sounds like he might be pretty fun a mix of range and of course i'm sure he'll have an up close melee um i have not jumped into the blood web or his loadout so we're just going to pick which of these I think for my purposes, I'm going to go with the bamboozle, the, the vault blocking ability first. That sounds really fun, uh, kind of fits with my playstyle, so we're just going to jump right in and see what the old clown is about. All right, Gas Heaven, one of the big outdoor maps at the auto junkyard. Uh, these can be tricky because it does afford a lot of line of sight blocking for the survivors and there's a lot of good places to hide so as always I'm gonna start by pushing against this back wall all right I see scratch marks on the house I see feet running through the house there's someone right here she is on me goes all right so first 30 seconds we've already got it down we've got a hook right here that's convenient so we'll just get her up on the hook and then hold bumper to recharge our ability break that pumpkin there's definitely somebody in here working on this gen let's kick the door in say hello that door in.
don't know where Dwight ran off, but he got hit, and I see more survivors running around in the background over here. I see maybe an injured survivor, potentially? Yep. Ah, it's the same Claudette from before. Tragic for her. Don't know if her teammates can help her out or not, but that's two hooks for Claudette. <coughs> and they've only gotten one generator down thus far. Let's jump back in and check this generator. Yep, somebody's back in here again, making more progress. They've gotten Claudette down. Somebody ran out, and they pushed right. That's fine. Yeah, the ability to slow them down with this gas is actually pretty powerful. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do anything with this Dwight, I don't think, but they're going to get that Claudette up. Maybe I luck out and I get him on this hook. Might have taken just a bit too long. Nope, I got him. All right. Okay, I've got them in my sight now. We'll deal with that generator in a minute. <clears throat> I think she's done if I can hit her again. All right, and we have a hook right over here. So I think this is going to take care of Claudette. Then we'll go back for this generator I can hear him on just to my left. <laughs> Sorry, Dwight. All right, he's about to go for his second hook. And we've got the hook right here, which is very convenient. And I know there's somebody in proximity because they just finished the gen over here. Yep. I see him back on, on moving towards the generators again. Okay, here's our flashlight, Claudette. She decided to do the... Try to do the run up and loop around me in a circle. That one does not have a flashlight, so this will be trickier for them to do anything about the save, but I will get over to... Regress that generator as soon as I get her on the hook. Give that a quick kick. I don't need to chase her, but I do need to get this Claudette that ran back this way. Oh... That's too much progress. That's way too much progress. That's not going to fly. We've got some very altruistic teammates here. Claudette goes down again. There's a hook right over here. I will get her to it. I'm pretty sure I've got time. So maybe this is the Claudette I've already hooked twice? If so, she's done. But I gotta quickly get back over to this generator. Get it regressing again.
It's this Dwight I want. Because he's already been on my hook at least once, possibly twice. I see him trying to run out the back. He did. He's running straight back around the front to try to loop it. Sorry, Dwight. You're going down, bud. Right here, right now. Dwight goes down. We've got a hook right over here. Up he goes. Let's refill our bottles. I do know that there is a teammate nearby. I see scratch marks. I see further scratch marks. Yep, I've got eyes on him. All right, Claudette. I see you. <laughs> All right, her buddy's right here. You're not going to body block me. She goes down right here, right now. You want to try to be the altruist, it's on you. Got us a hook right here. That's convenient. All right. And we know there was another survivor right over here. She's probably going to be pushing back for that back wall with that button where I was originally standing. I do hear the trap door, so we got to kick that shut. Okay, she's over here on this one. I see ya. Let's kick this pallet. She could have easily started gunning for this other door. I don't see her over there, so we're coming back to this one. Yep, this is where she is. I don't think she can make it down to that other door in time. Nope, she's done for. That's it. That's all she wrote. Grab by the entity. Okay, so yeah, the clown's not horrible. Um, this uh, ability he has to slow people down with the bottles is a pretty cool ability. Um, I gotta say. Um, and the vaulting over windows, 15% uh, quicker. It's noticeable. I mean, it's not a drastic difference, but when you're in chase and people are vaulting, it's pretty powerful. So yeah, I mean, he's reasonably fun. I think he would be better suited if I decided to go ahead and unlock uh, some more ability perks, but not bad for first playthrough. He's reasonably fun. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for checking in, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.